Hello everyone, we are going to start a lecture known as ventricular septal defect. This lecture for BSc nursing third year students and we are going to start our chapter related to cardiovascular disorder. And I pick first one is ventricular septal defect. Hope so you feel comfortable and fine your sitting home and uh, stay at home, be safe and keep learning, continue. First of all, we are going to discuss about the introduction of ventricular septal defect, definition, pathophysiology, type of types of VST, classification, clinical manifestations, diagnostic tests, treatment and nursing management. First of all, what is VST? VST is a ventricular septal defect. It is the miscommunication between the right ventricle and left ventricle. According to the definition, VST is a congenital defect in the interventricular septum and that allows shunting of blood between the left and right ventricles. It is a congenital defect means baby born with this defect. If it is acquired defect, then after the birth, baby obtain this problem from the environment and from any other reason. Introduction of the VST. VST are the most common congenital heart defects in infants and children and VST is seen in up to 3.5 Infants per 1000 live births. Most of these close spontaneously in childhood. Spontaneously means by naturally closed. VST may also accompany other congenital defects. Then we are going to discuss about the pathophysiology. Pathophysiology of the ventricular septal defect. Before knowing the pathophysiology of the ventricular septal defect, you know, you need to know about the normal circulation of the heart. Let's see, I would like to explain. With the help of inferior and superior vena cava, actually superior and inferior vena cava collect the blood from the body, that is the deoxygenated blood or blood consists of poor oxygen pour into the right atrium and through the tricuspid valve blood entered in the right ventricle and with the help of pulmonary artery it's raised to the lungs from uh, in the lungs pur it purified and with the help of pulmonary vein it entered in the left atrium and through the mitral valve it it proceed in left ventricle and with the help of aorta bloods oxygenated blood give oxygen to all the organs present in the body okay but what happened in ventricular septal defect because it's away from the normal it has a abnormal Connection between the right ventricle and left ventricle, which are usually not present in normal child. The left ventricle have a more pressure of the blood and it push the blood to the right ventricle. Right ventricle have deoxygenated blood or blood of with less oxygen. There, pulmonary artery take the mixed blood from the right ventricle to the lungs for purification. That is the reason behind the child suffering from ventricular septal defect do not show the symptom that is cyanosis. What is the cyanosis? Bluish discoloration of the skin due to poor circulation or inadequate oxygenation of the blood I hope you understand okay then we have to proceed types of VST if you want to understand it better 
then kindly see the diagram given in this picture in this slide ventricular septal defect there is a, some numbering are there in the right ventricle one two three and four it helps to help you to understand better the first one is conal septal vst in the diagram you can see near the pulmonary valve number one the rears, rear stop of vst means very less child born with conal septal defect it occurs in the ventricular septum just below the pulmonary valve in the diagram you can clearly see the number written in the, in the form of one okay then the perimembranous vst where you can see the number two located near the valve here the pulmonary valve present and in that place the perimembranous vst occur this type of vst is the one that is most commonly treated by surgery because most do not close on their own okay then the third one is atrioventricular canal type means it this abnormality or this type present where the connection of right atrium and right ventricle means near the valve this vst is associated with atrioventricular canal defect the vst is located underneath the tricuspid and mitral valves tricuspid valve also known as mitral valve then muscular vst muscular vst the most common type of vst it is an opening in the muscular portion of the lower section of the ventricular septum a large number of these close spontaneously and do not require surgery you can clearly seen in the diagram i hope you understand this if you feel discomfort to understand this i am here to help you do not worry at all next is classification it is small vst and large vst depends on the its centimeter if it's less than 0.5 centimeter then it's small vst and it close naturally no need to surgery then large vst usually greater than 1 centimeter 90 percent require surgery okay then clinical manifestations in clinical manifestation there are murmur sound during auscultation what do you mean by murmur sound you know the sound of your heartbeat is lub dub lub dub okay in some people the blood makes an extra noise as it flows through the heart and that sound we can heard with the help of stethoscope in between the lub and dub this sound is called a murmur doctors usually discover murmurs during regular checkups of the kids just like kids just like kids murmur have a grades grade one is the softest softest sounding murmur the sound means sound of the first grade is very soft and sound of the grade six is very loud fine then fatigue the kid suffering from vst feel tired fatigued and have sweating also with rapid breathing what do you mean by rapid breathing when you take more breathing than normal in a given minute when the child take more breathing than the normal range okay congested breathing when any congestion in the nasal cavity due to inflammation or any other reason okay then anorexia the child lost appetite then 
they do not gain the proper weight according to age and according to criteria which we uh, read in the books cyanosis we already discussed cyanosis is bluish discoloration of the skin due to poor circulation or inadequate oxygenation of the blood i hope you clear then diagnostic tests for the vst eco echocardiogram used to define the anatomy and characteristics of patient's blood then also x-ray to rule out the size of the heart in x-ray the size of the heart little more than the normal size and the side of the right ventricle large than the normal understand continue with diagnostic test there is ecg right ventricular hypertrophy means right ventricular large than the normal large bifid qrs complex biventricular hypertrophy develops biventricular hypertrophy means right ventricle or left ventricle both the size of the both ventricle are large why right ventricular hypertrophy because the left ventricle push the blood into the right ventricle and right ventricle already taken the blood from the right atrium uh, right ventricle take the blood from the right atrium and also from the left ventricle and there is a collection of blood that's why the size of the right ventricle is more than the normal then treatment first of all we would like to talk about the medical management with digoxin furosemide bis um biso bisoprolol bisoprolol okay digoxin increase the strength of the heart's contraction furosemide furosemide is a diuresis and decrease the amount of fluid in circulation and in the lungs then bisoprolol keep the heart beat regular then surgical management catheter procedure insert the catheter into the femoral vein just like angiography and thread it to the heart septum the device is positioned so that it plugs the hole between the ventricles then open heart surgery if the catheter procedure not successful then the next option is open heart surgery but it rarely used in vst okay the next is pre operative and post operative care prophylactic antibiotic are often required to prevent the infectious endocarditis endocarditis what is endocarditis it is inflammation of the endocardium the child should be assessed post operatively for dysrhythmia dysrhythmia means a normal rhythm of the heart when the normal rhythm distract that is known as dysrhythmia since edema in the septum may interfere with the condition the next is nursing management first is nursing diagnosis decrease in cardiac output associated with heart malformations our goal to improve cardiac output and intervention provided to the patient are observe the quality and strength of the heart beat peripheral pulses in color and warmth assess the degree of cyanosis monitor signs of congestive heart failure which signs anxiety tachycardia tachycardia the heart rate is fast than normal tachypnea the breathing is more than normal shortness of breath periorbital edema uh, it's uh, the swelling around the eyes oliguria production of urine reduced in kids and hepatomegaly the size of the liver large than the normal okay next is 
nursing diagnosis impaired gas exchange related to pulmonary congestion and our goal improved gas exchange and we have given intervention to the patient monitor the quality and rhythm of breathing adjust the position of the child with follow position white child of an infected person give adequate rest give oxygen as indicated i hope you clear with this topic if you face any kind of problem kindly intimate me i am here to help you stay at home wash your hand frequently take care of your family thank you very much i hope you understand thank you very much